Hello, my name is Crystal Gunther and I'm the nurse manager at UC Davis Health for pediatrics in outpatient. I am going to be talking to you today about how to best keep your baby's nose clear from mucus and congestion during the cold and flu seasons. So there's two primary ways to suction the nose and we're gonna go over those, but I wanna tell you why it matters so much to keep their noses clean. Super important for babies, especially under four months because the only way they breathe is through their nose. So knowing how to suction and when to suction is really important because we have to be able to help keep their nose clean so they can breathe and eat. The first thing I'm going to show you is something most people are familiar with. You often get them from the hospital when you're discharged after you've had your baby is the bulb syringe aspirator. And so you're not going to stick it in as far as it can go. You're going to be gentle and stick it in their nose just enough to make a seal so that when you release the bulb, you're not letting the air out and it's actually sucking the snot. So to do this, you wanna lay your baby on their back in a safe spot where they can't roll over. Might be a good idea to swaddle them and that way their arms aren't in there. No one's gonna like this to have this done. So there's gonna likely be a lot of movement. So if you have somebody that could hold their head, that's helpful too. Um, otherwise, you're just gonna get good at kind of following their head around. But to use this, you're going to, away from the baby, squeeze the bulb out and then you'll put it in their nose until it makes that seal and you're just gonna let it reinflate itself and you might hear the sucking out of snot if you're getting any. And then you can get a tissue, a wipe, any kind of basin and just squirt out whatever you got on there. Give it a little wipe and then you're ready to go for the next nostril. Put it on that side, release it. Pretty simple to use. And then you just wanna make sure that when you're depressing the bulb that you're not shooting snot back at your baby or yourself. The other way to suction that's come on the market in the past few years are nasal aspirators. This is just one we happen to have here today. It's the Nose Frida. There's different brands, different types, even electric ones now. Um, it comes with different parts. So there's this tube that tapers down that you're going to put in your baby's nose, has this little squishy filter that's going to keep germs and mucus from getting up into your mouth. You'd have to be able to suction really hard to get any mucus from here <laughs> to here, but it's there for safety. And then the red part goes in your mouth. So you'll stick it in just enough and you're going to take a big breath out and then you're going to suck in. And as you suck in, you're going to hear, most likely, uh, lots of goobery, sucky, snotty sounds and you'll see a lot of mucus come up into this kind of tapered end. And you can just go right over to the other nostril with this one. You don't have to clean it out in between noses, but after every use you will clean it out and we'll go over how to clean both of these. Um, for the bulb syringe, after you're done using it and you've used it on your baby's nose, both sides, they look good. You're going to just kind of squeeze it out, warm soapy water, swish it around in there, squirt it back out. And then you can just get clear, warm water until it's rinsed out because you don't want any soap left in there. And then just let it dry until the next time. Then the nasal aspirators, this style, you're going to take the pieces apart you're gonna take this filter and we're done with that one. You change it after every time. And then you can clean these out with warm soapy water as well. Let them dry. Um, they usually come with a little trial pack of filters that you can replace. You can also buy bigger ones that come in like a pack. And then after every time you're using it and it's dry, let's get it ready for next time. You would take out the little spongy filter and you're gonna stick it back in there, put it back together and you're ready to suction for next time. If you're not getting anything in your suctioning, you notice they're still sick and their breathing's not as good as you want it and you just want to make sure that they're good before their next feed, you can try uh, these nasal saline sprays over the counter. They even make ones that are specific for infants. Um, we just want to make sure you're not using like regular tap water or anything. So you want to use sterile normal saline and you can, in babies, we're not going to shoot it in our nose and spray it like in adults or bigger kids, but we're going to just use it and you can put one drop right into the nose before you suction and That'll hopefully help loosen up any of those crusty boogers and you can get some of their nose cleared a little better. Uh, you can try suctioning once and if it doesn't work, try the drops. Then after that, just wait till next time, next feed or next nap. So you don't want to cause any trauma to their nose. Uh, they're not going to like it. They're going to cry. They're going to get upset. But after you're done, pick them up, lots of snuggles, and they'll be happy. And then they'll be breathing easier and then you'll both be happy and able to get on with your day. So babies under four months only breathe through their nose. So suctioning is super important. If you're for sure gonna wanna make sure to be doing this before feeds and before bedtime, uh, you can suction any kids who don't understand the comment of how to blow their nose. So you can do it up to two years if you wanted to. Um, you can use the one drop of saline in the infants and to help loosen anything for 
getting better mucus out as you suction and just make sure to clean it after each use.